Hi, Mr. Kishore. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to start off with your constant currency quarter on quarter growth of around 3.3%. Um, firstly, how would you rate this quarter when it comes to this growth specifically? And what factors would you attribute to the growth as far as this quarter is concerned? Yeah, hi. Thank you. Thank you, Agam, for having me here. I think, you know, we've delivered a solid set of numbers, as you've seen. 3.8% uh, uh, growth in dollar terms, uh, sequentially, I think, is at the top end of the industry growth, uh, which fundamentally was led by our focus on digital. So if you've seen the digital business for us, which is now 36.8% of the overall number, that grew about 5.3% uh, sequentially and over 35% uh, year on year. And the service line application business, which includes all of digital, uh, basically grew about 5.3% uh, also. Uh, there was some softness which we saw in the non-core MVS business, and hence the overall IM business was soft. But overall, I think we felt pretty good about delivering a good set of numbers. Mr. Kishore, uh, you know, you've spoken about your infrastructure management business and some softness coming in there. Uh, you know, I've been speaking to a lot of your peers as well, and there has been this case of delay in decision making. Can you tell us a little more about the visibility, at least in as far as this area is concerned? So actually, we're looking at a good set of pipeline and good set of opportunity because our focus is to be pivoting the organization towards digital technology. And as you know, the clients are spending 80% of the spend is around digital technology. We've also very carefully chosen our market segment. We are fundamentally present in three big market, retail, uh, which is about 30% of our market. So our focus and exposure both uh, on retail is probably the highest in the industry. And retail lends itself quite well into omni-channel and commerce and, and digital stack. So it's a part of a well thought out strategy that we put together several quarters ago, and if you've seen the growth in retail over the last couple of quarters, it's actually been quite good. And it also aligns quite well into the, the digital stack in the future. Uh, financial services also grew quite well, about 5.5% uh, actually in the, in the last quarter. Manufacturing, which is about half of our business, uh, did well at 3.4%. All round growth uh, on the top 20 accounts actually grew by about 160 basis points. Uh, sequentially from Q1 to Q2. That's why, you know, you've seen the performance uh, at the level that is. Okay. Uh, well, Mr. Kishore, you mentioned that about 37% of your revenues uh, so far for this quarter have come from digital services. You know, again, uh, through my conversation with a lot of industry experts, uh, what I realize is that uh, a lot of you guys are actually trying to talk with your clients and partnering with them and experimenting with new business models. What has your experience been here and how do you see, uh, you know, the evolution of digital services at least for, say, the next second half of this financial year? That's a great question. You know, the, the scale and size of digital uh, business and the programs and projects that we are doing is continuously inching up in the client conversation. Uh, earlier, the business volume used to be between half a million dollars to a million. On digital program, it's gone up from between one million to three million. And we still see the trend of it growing even more. Uh, on the other question that you had asked, yes, we are collaborating with our customers. Uh, we actually collaborated with a very large UK-based uh, food processing and food manufacturing company where we have deployed our bots. These are the Zensar bots for managing their uh, back-end accounts, payable, and cash management system. There's not a single person deployed there. There are several of our bots which are working uh, to help solve this particular issue of not only making sure that you improve the accuracy, but also redeploy uh, the people who were earlier doing into more higher value added work. So you will see more and more of those collaborations coming in as you go and expand the footprint, uh, particularly into the core business sector that we are doing. Uh, same is the case with blockchain. We are seeing a lot of interest, not just with financial services, but pretty much across the industry. It's a fundamental game changer uh, that is available, uh, you know, to to the organization. And finally, the automation and you know, machine learning and artificial intelligence. But the good news you see, you know, Agam, into all of this is there is a good sense of collaborative approach from the customers uh, because nobody has you know got it all right, and hence there is a good desire to to collaborate and you know solve this problem together. 
Right. So, Mr. Kishore, if I were to stack uh, digital services up against, you know, your traditional services, and again, you know, uh, uh, not just for you, probably for the entire industry, still a very large chunk of your revenues come from traditional services. And again, there was a lot of talk about integration and integrating traditional services with digital technologies. Can you tell us a little more about what you're witnessing in this area? Yeah, so, you know, legacy business uh, certainly continues to be soft because the clients are actually moving the investment dollars from legacy into what would create competitive advantage for them. And that's where digital technology, stack of digital technology actually plays. And this is moving at a very, very rapid, uh, rapid train, okay? And, you know, the whole philosophy for us has also been to really collaborate with the customers on the areas which creates competitive uh, you know, benefit for them. And I feel pretty good that we have a great set of tools and platform that we built. We built something called Return on Digital, which is a Zensar proprietary platform. Uh, we've launched it to our customers last quarter for the first time. There are several of, there are over 30 different application platforms which we have launched. And we have seen phenomenal uptake in the business. And that also was one of the reasons on why you saw the volume going up in Q2 because we now have half a dozen of our customers who have actually bought these platforms and then they were building services around them rather than just pure play services. So there are some good stuff that you're seeing. Okay, Mr. Kishore, just one final question on your outlook. If you can give us any indication of how you expect the second half of this financial year to pan out. Well, we don't give any guidance, Agam, but you know, based on the pipeline that I see, I, I feel pretty good about the second half of the year as well. All right, Mr. Kishore, it was a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much for your time, sir. Thank you. Well, that was the management of Zensar Technologies, uh, largely constructive, especially on the back of digital services.